Today's movie is a special request from Patreon supporter Marco Raphael, who asked me to review the movie Fantasy Mission Force. Now, I gotta admit, at first I was a little reluctant to do this one. I mean, why would you want me to poke fun at fellow internet personalities like Ed Glazer, Brad Jones, Alison Pregler, and... Oh, wait a minute, that's Ninja the Mission Force. Uh, sorry, my last few Patreon videos have all had ninjas in them. I guess I just assumed this one did too. Alright, so what's Fantasy Mission Force like? <laughs> Sister, I'm sorry, I didn't see anything- Oh shit, Jackie Chan's in this movie? Well, hell yeah, I'm up for that, let's do this. <laughs> Fantasy Mission Force is a 1983 Hong Kong action movie that has an interesting premise and backstory. I'm not really sure how to describe this movie, but according to IMDb, it's similar to The Dirty Dozen. Yeah, I guess it's similar to The Dirty Dozen in that both of them are movies. Oh, and here's a good sign. Apparently Jackie Chan was only in this movie as a favor to co-star Wang Yu. And remember, he thought the tuxedo was a good idea. Anyway, the movie's set in World War II, because come on, doesn't this cover just scream World War II movie to you? I can't accuse this movie of having a slow start, though, since we're not even done with the opening credits and we already seem to be at the climax. According to our intelligence reports, the Japanese are here, 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 and here. That's Canada, you idiot! You know, I'm beginning to think this movie might not be historically accurate. The Japanese should not be here then. No! You are wrong! I am acting! According to our British intelligence reports, the Japanese are here, 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 and here. No, the Japanese aren't in that diorama either. Have you guys considered just checking Japan? Nope, oh, my mistake. Apparently the Japanese are right there. And why do so many movies on this show have characters with Hitler mustaches? Looks like it's bad news for the generals. Uh, who are these guys? American Major General Abraham Lincoln. Nah, we've had Abraham Lincoln fight vampires and zombies, so why not have him be a general in World War II? With all the generals captured, the Allies try and assemble a team to rescue them. Unfortunately, most of the people they want are busy starring in better movies. The agent 007 is now working in South Africa. Oh, really? I thought he was in hell and looked like this. Any other picks? Rocky, this is a military action. So put a headband on him and call him Rambo. Jesus, do I gotta think of everything? Because none of these actors owed Wang Yu any favors, they have no choice but to assemble a different team. Who's that? Satan's Lieutenant, Don Wynn. I don't know why none of these guys have heard of him, since according to the next scene, he's like the most badass soldier ever. He takes on an entire army using only one hand. Also, he appears to be the only one who isn't wearing blackface, so you should probably just go with him. You will form a commando group at once. Remember, anything screws up, we deny response. <laughs> Hey, take it easy, opening titles. You cut off the general's line. And does every martial arts movie I do on this show have to have a dance sequence? Now, the song is definitely weird, but the thing I'm most concerned about is what is up with this guy's arm hair? Good idea, movie. Best to start drinking now. That way, maybe the movie will make more sense. Man, who knew World War II was such a jolly time? I mean, sure, a lot of people died, but the sing-alongs were just delightful. And as weird as that musical number was, the movie somehow gets weirder once it's over. The singing hobo here tries buying a gun off Tuxedo Jimmy Walker. <laughs> You must call me Papa! Um, okay. And then it just cuts to him in the middle of the woods getting attacked by... I don't know, the Sheriff of Nottingham? What the hell is happening? Wanna fool me? <laughs> Captain, it's you! Oh, I guess he's supposed to be one of the new recruits. You know, if you want him to join your team, you might want to consider not trying to kill him first. We then cut to a prison colony where we're introduced to the next recruit. Yeah. Oh, damn it! You did this on purpose! Hey, careful, man. I know what Hong Kong prisons are like. You do not want to get into a fight. Of course, they do end up fighting, and in this prison, they fight dirty. It's also probably not the best idea to let the prisoners use guns. Well, who didn't see that coming? Again, though, that could have gone a lot worse. Man, no wonder this guy escaped so fast. All his footage is sped up. 
And enough with the eating montages already. Get to the plot. Grease Lightning, the top breakaway expert. You broke out of jail in New York, London, and China. Did those places also let him use guns? Because if so, they might want to stop doing that. So after a little persuasion, Grease Lightning joins the group, but wasn't Jackie Chan supposed to be in this movie? Oh, hey, there he is. This was before Jackie had enough money to pay people to actually carry him. Jackie and his partner are trying to win a large amount of money by entering a fighting tournament, which apparently also includes a competitive smoke-off. Whoa, Jackie, take it easy. You're in Fantasy Mission Force, not watching it. It turns out Jackie's opponent is actually in on everything and plans to throw the match so they can split the money. That is, of course, until his real opponent shows up. Well, hitting him with sound effects didn't work. Guess you'll have to fight him. And I do not want to know what Jackie has to do if he loses. Damn, where's some alcohol and a stick of bamboo when you really need it? Look, Jackie, forget about the money, okay? Eventually someone will pay you $20 million to do Rush Hour 3. You'll be fine. You know, considering how much this guy looks like E. Honda, this is probably the closest we'll ever get to seeing Jackie in a Street Fighter movie. It, wait, what? Jackie eventually wins, though, because, come on, he's Jackie Chan. Have you seen the guy move? Unfortunately, their winnings are confiscated by... Chinese Sherlock Holmes? Eh, why not? They already had General Not Abe Lincoln. And hey, while you're at it, throw a Raiders of the Lost Ark homage in there. Wait, they're playing a drinking game that incorporates Russian roulette and strip poker? So my college roommates didn't invent that. This is our next protagonist, Lily. And unlike Jackie, she knows that when somebody tries to take your winnings, just kick their ass. Ah, that's the great thing about Hong Kong cinema. Even in movies you've never heard of, the fight scenes are still pretty good. Okay, guess that's the end of that scene. We're a little over 20 minutes in, and it already feels like I've watched like four different movies so far. Before Lily can counter winning, she's interrupted by... Chinese Wayne Newton? Who is this? You've been gone a year. I'll never leave you again. I, I can swear by it. Do I look... Do I look like a liar? No, you look like Boss Hog. So I guess these two are a couple, although their relationship is a little rocky. I love you. I love you. Oh, what? What was that? Why didn't you call me? Uh, oh, Kareem. What's wrong? Yeah, these two may fight a lot, but the makeup sex is incredible. Although, they might want to consider a safe word. Dawn asks Wayne to join the team, again by trying to kill him at first. And sure, just leave the woman who kicked the crap out of a room full of commandos. I'm sure she won't hold a grudge. Um, wasn't that your own house? Okay, take it easy, fellas. The movie's still 90 minutes, no matter how fast you go. I kinda doubt the Scottish Chinese regiment will be able to rescue the generals, mainly because Lily is able to easily break into the base by herself. Why the hell didn't they ask her to join the team? It seems like she's the best fighter out of all of them. Anyone move? Is a dead man! Just wait. What the hell do you want? I want her to be in the rest of the movie. Now hurry up and ask her to come with. Or do another Benny Hill bit. I guess that works too. They finally ask Lily to join the team. No fucking duh. And sure, bring these two idiots along too while you're at it. So with the team finally assembled, they set out to find the generals and then immediately stop for the night. Jeez, no hurry, fellas. They're just depending on you to help win World War II. And wasn't Jackie Chan in this movie? Oh, hey, there he is. Man, no wonder Jackie's the highest paid actor in Asia. He just steals everybody else's money. We also find out that Wayne Newton is the guy who took Jackie's money earlier. And even though they're clearly played by the same actor, this movie is so fast-paced and weird that I actually thought they were supposed to be separate characters. So you like to bait the tiger? Seems you like playing with fire, eh? Wait a second, the music in that scene sounded kind of familiar. Oh well, I'm sure it's nothing. And you mean they just let him go? He's Jackie Chan! Ask him to join your team too, you idiots! They set off to find the generals again, and if we're to believe the map at the beginning, I guess they're supposed to be in Canada right now? Oh, never mind, I should have known it was Canada from the roving bands of Scarecrow Tarzans. You know they almost beat out the beaver to be our national symbol, but we thought something that was also slang for a vagina was funnier. 
Don gets captured during an awkward edit, so it's up to the rest of the team to rescue the generals. God, look at these guys. It's like the Expendables fucked a history museum. You know, it's been pretty weird so far, but I was not expecting this movie to show full anal penetration. And will you quit it with the blackface already, movie? Do you realize this? We've been here so long, and there's no sign of anyone strange. You know what else is strange? Everything else about this situation. Where the hell are you? <laughs> Remember in my Inframan video where I said Hong Kong would never match Japan for truly bizarre shit? Yeah, I'm starting to think I was wrong about that. Geez, Cirque du Soleil was aggressive in its early years. Seriously though, what the fuck is happening? What? What? Uh, I'm in. Turns out these are really a group of Amazons. Amazons! And it looks like their leader is Crouching Tiger Hidden Lady Mullet here. We haven't seen men for a long time. Especially young ones. And handsome. Ah, looks like this is your lucky day, fellas. Maybe now you won't have to penetrate each other's asses. And you mean to tell me that not only were there Amazons in World War II, but they were also led by Asian James Bond? My history teacher was full of shit. You have dirty language. Yeah, so it's my show. I can say whatever I want. Fuck off. And the music still sounds familiar. <laughs> Take care. Wait, did they take music from Planet of the Apes? What, am I watching Turkish Fantasy Mission Force now? Actually, never mind. If it was, I'd have a lot more nudity to black box than just these cutouts. The group is held prisoner, but Lily escapes when the Amazons... just let her go. And what the hell, you're already using music from Planet of the Apes. Might as well recreate the beginning of that movie too while you're at it. And that's not the only thing familiar about this scene. The turpid is too passionate. So that any girl he fancies, I never let him live. I'm so glad John Carpenter let the makers of this movie use music from Halloween. Because that's totally what happened, right? And wasn't Jackie Chan in this movie? Oh, hey, look, there he is. Yeah, I feel you, Jackie. It's always so embarrassing when you get caught choking your chicken. The Amazons attacked Jackie, but they seriously underestimated his skills at beating up women. Or at least their stunt doubles. Okay, we've established Jackie can beat up Amazons and change their diapers. Now can he join the team? I can see you have some talent, eh? Here's me fighting and you stand and watch. Wait, what'd he say there? Here's me fighting and you stand and watch. Meh, it's not the most nonsensical thing in this movie so far. What's the idea? The idea is to combine as many random elements together into one movie and hope it makes it to 90 minutes. Well, it looks like Jackie's gone again. How are the other guys doing? Can't you see they're all very horny? We just show them all the charms we have, and then maybe, maybe they'll let us go. Now there's a surefire way out of trouble. Indecent exposure. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> That's what you call a horniness? Hungry, not horny. Well, that is a very easy mistake to make. Like the time I bought that board game, Horny Horny Hippos. And let me tell you, that was one awkward family game night. Who knew Grandma could eat so many balls? Lily comes back to bail their asses out, and once again proves she's the most competent one by killing dozens of Amazons within seconds. Screw the other guys, just have her and Jackie rescue the generals. Okay, that's a little unfair. The other guys do get a few shots in. <gasps> Jesus! Well, I've always said more wacky, slapsticky comedies need more throat-cutting gags. Lily frees the others and kills the Amazon... men. And is it me, or does it seem like this movie's had, like, three explosive climaxes already? We're not even an hour in. God damn, Command should have these guys do this to the Axis. The war would be over within days. Forget about the generals. Is that even still a thing, you know, the captured generals from the beginning? Or was that just like a little skit before they decided to film the director's half-remembered fever dreams? I guess they must have forgot about the generals too, since they decide to stop at this creepy mansion. Let's just stay here for the night, okay? Why not? Yeah, why not? There's a half hour left. 
I don't know if this place is haunted, but the internet is definitely not gonna like this new all-Asian version of the Ghostbusters. It's a fucking joke! Relax. And you're in a mansion, you don't have to all sleep in the same room, guys. Especially one with a fucking coffin. <laughs> Ugh, the only thing worse than a morning person is an undead morning person. You know, between the Amazons and the sleepwalking dead here, 1940s Canada was a weird place. Okay, time to leave. Not because the place is haunted, but because you're staying at someone's house without asking. But I suppose you could stay for one game. Mamma Mia! Mamma Mia? <sighs> it's so sad that this movie has to resort to using Chinese stereotypes. I don't know what game they're playing, but as long as it isn't horny horny hippos, I'm okay with it. But something tells me these guys might be cheating. You saw a guy detach his head and that's what freaks you out? Yeah, good idea. Best to get out of there before they start referencing more movies. Oh, too late. In addition to all the other homages, it looks like they're about to borrow a scene from Dumb and Dumber. Yeesh, this guy's diarrhea was so bad he shit out an ass demon. And don't run, they're just trying to tell you you need to wipe more thoroughly. Hey, uh, fellas, in light of everything that's happening in the house right now, maybe you should just leave. Jesus, more guys in hoods? Did the clan fund this movie? And here's a surprise, once again it's up to Lily to bail their asses out. This is what happens when you bring strings to a bazooka fight, motherfucker. Lily, so you're still alive. I was so upset. Of course she's still alive. She's the most competent one out of all of you. After escaping the haunted house, the group finds the Nazi hideout where the generals are being held captive. Which is weird, because wasn't it the Japanese that captured them at the beginning? Eh, whatever, the guy had a Hitler mustache, so close enough. And what the hell? You mean they're all dead already? That was quick. And I wondered how we got in so easily. Hm. I bet the Japs never even knew. Yeah, probably because the Nazis were German and not Japanese. And wasn't Jackie Chan in this movie? Hey, there he is. Sorry, I just needed to say that so he'd appear again. And if you thought this movie was weird before, it looks like it just went beyond Thunderdome. This is probably not even worth asking at this point, but did these guys have anything to do with anything? Oh wait, they've got swastikas, so they must be Nazis. I really should have recognized them from their uniforms. I got the hostages! We don't play games. We want the money. I don't understand. Wasn't that this movie's tagline? So the Japanese Nazis want the money that's buried in their hideout, which is supposedly their money, so why the hell didn't they just take it with them when they left? Or is this the regular Japanese's money and the Nazi Japanese are supposed to be different? You know what, fuck it. The point is they're gonna fight. Will there be a share for us? There's a share for those who help. Hey, that's very good. I'd rather have the money than my life. Also what Jackie said when he first got to Hollywood. Time for the final showdown against the samurai, roman, alien, nazi, japanese, whatever the fuck is going on here. At least Jackie came prepared. That's right. Whoa! Wow! You better be careful, or you'll hurt yourself. It's Jackie Chan. He's probably gonna get hurt at some point in this movie. The sound of the sound of Okay, judging by the jaunty music, I'm assuming there's gonna be some wacky slapstick action before the group defeats the bad guys and rescues the generals. The hell? You're doing good. I'm very proud of you, Stone. <laughs> Stone, you're good. Stone? What? Are you seeing this? When did this movie turn into the ending of The Wild Bunch? After all the crazy crap that's happened so far, I didn't think this movie could surprise me anymore, but then it just decides to randomly slaughter most of its main characters. Oh, and the crazy twists do not end there. Jackie manages to defeat the bad guys because, come on, you don't kill Jackie Chan. Then Lieutenant Dawn shows back up alive with the generals, and then this happens. Wasn't he working for you? It's my plan to let them kill each other. So the money will be yours and no one will know about it. Aha, so his plan was to get the group killed and take all the money. Even though 
None of them knew the money was there in the first place, and Lieutenant Don's presumably the guy who killed all the Japanese and rescued the generals, meaning he could have just taken it and no one would have knew. And if he was capable of rescuing the generals and killing the Japanese by himself, he didn't even need to hire the group in the first place, so... his plan is he's the bad guy. But Lieutenant Don's mistaken if he thinks he can kill Jackie Chan so easily. He survived making three movies with Chris Tucker. It also doesn't help that he's using the same sword as in Raw Force. You know what? I don't care if this final battle doesn't make any sense. The fight choreography is still good, damn it. And is this movie seriously going to kill Jackie Chan? <laughs> Nah, makes sense to me. Hey, why didn't you come earlier and rescue us? I don't know, why didn't you help me out during the final battle, you douche? Well, almost all of our main characters have been killed, but that doesn't mean we can't have a wacky ending. Hey, hey! Hey! Come back here! So that's Fantasy Mission Force, and in case you couldn't tell, this movie is fucking insane. Talk about a movie that throws into everything but the kitchen sink. This movie's only 90 minutes long and it feels like I watched five different movies. It's almost like they watched Challenge of the Tiger and said, you know what, not enough crazy shit happens in this movie. As you can expect from a Jackie Chan movie, the fight scenes are pretty good, and if you're a fan of crazy martial arts movies, I actually recommend this one. It may not make a whole lot of sense, but I definitely can't call it boring. Well, that's all for now. Until next time. Hmm? <laughs>